Have you ever pondered about the unseen dangers lurking in Earth's orbit? You might be surprised to learn that one of the most significant threats to our planet and the future of space exploration isn't an asteroid or alien invasion, but rather our own mess. We're talking about space debris, a growing concern that orbits our globe at staggering speeds. Space debris, also known as space junk, is essentially the clutter of objects created by humans that are left floating around in space. It's a bit like a cosmic junkyard, a collection of defunct satellites, spent rocket stages and fragments from disintegration, erosion and collisions that have taken place over the past seven decades of space exploration. These objects, some as small as flecks of paint, others as large as buses, are not stationary. They're zipping around our planet at speeds up to 17,500 miles per hour. That's nearly 10 times the speed of a bullet. At such speeds, even the smallest piece of debris can cause significant damage if it collides with something else. The types of space debris are as varied as the missions that created them. Defunct satellites that have outlived their operational lives make up a significant portion. Then there are spent rocket stages, jettisoned hardware, and even tools lost by astronauts during spacewalks. And let's not forget about the fragments created from disintegration, erosion and collisions, which are increasing in number with each passing year. This might be hard to visualize, given the vastness of space and the smallness of these objects. But consider this. There are currently an estimated 128 million pieces of debris, smaller than one centimeter about 900,000 pieces between 1 and 10 centimeters, and around 34,000 larger than 10 centimeters orbiting Earth. So what we see as a clear, star-studded night sky is in fact a busy and hazardous highway of space debris. In the next scenes, we'll explore the birth of space debris, the threat it poses to Earth and spacecraft, and the efforts being made to clean up this cosmic junkyard. You might wonder, how does this space clutter come into existence? Well, the birth of space debris is a tale of human ingenuity, ambition, and unfortunately, a dash of carelessness. The history of space exploration is dotted with many milestones, each leaving behind its own kind of debris. When we launch satellites, for instance, they often shed layers of insulation, bolts and lens caps. These bits and bobs, small as they may be, zoom around the Earth at breakneck speeds, turning into hazardous projectiles. Now let's talk about bigger culprits. Rocket stages, for example, are designed to fall back to Earth after propelling their payloads into space. But sometimes, they don't deorbit properly and end up joining the orbiting junkyard. These spent rocket stages, some as big as a bus, pose a significant collision risk to functional satellites and spacecraft. And then there's the issue of satellite collisions. With thousands of satellites orbiting Earth, the chances of accidental run-ins are higher than you might think. When two satellites collide, they don't just stop working, they shatter into countless pieces, each becoming a new piece of space debris. But the debris isn't just large objects. In fact, the majority of space debris is tiny fragments, like paint flecks or small metal pieces. These might sound harmless, but remember, in space, size doesn't matter as much as speed. Even a small paint fleck traveling at high velocity can pack a punch strong enough to damage a spacecraft. From tiny paint flecks to whole spent rocket stages, the variety of space debris is as vast as the universe it inhabits. Each piece of debris tells a story about our journey into space, a story of exploration and discovery, but also a story of the mess we've left in our wake. It's a bitter reality. The more we explore space, the more junk we leave behind. It's a cosmic conundrum that we must solve if we are to ensure the sustainable future of space exploration. So, how does this celestial clutter affect us and our ventures into space? Well, let's dive into the details. Space debris, or space junk as it's commonly known, poses a significant threat to both our planet and the spacecraft we send into orbit. Imagine this. You're a satellite peacefully orbiting Earth, when out of nowhere a piece of debris the size of a pea comes hurtling towards you at a staggering speed of over 17,000 miles per hour. Sounds terrifying, doesn't it? Well, that's a daily reality for our satellites and space stations up there. Even the smallest piece of debris can cause significant damage due to the high speeds at which they travel. 
but it's not just our satellites and space stations at risk. Spacecraft carrying astronauts like the International Space Station are also in danger. The risk of collision increases with the growing amount of debris, and a collision could be catastrophic, jeopardizing missions and putting lives at risk. Now you may be thinking, but what about us down here on Earth? Are we safe? The answer is mostly yes. Most smaller pieces of space debris burn up when they re-enter the Earth's atmosphere, appearing as shooting stars. But larger pieces can survive the fiery descent and potentially cause damage if they land in populated areas. However, the likelihood of being hit by falling space debris is extremely low. To put it into perspective, you're more likely to win the lottery than to be struck by a piece of space junk. Still, the potential danger exists and it's a risk we need to be aware of. In short, space debris presents a very real and growing threat to our ventures into space and to the safety of our planet. It's a challenge that requires our attention, our innovation and our global cooperation to address. Space debris, though out of sight, should never be out of mind. Now the million dollar question is, can we clean up this cosmic junkyard? Imagine you're on a beach littered with trash. You have a rake, a couple of bags and a whole lot of determination. But the beach is miles long and the trash is everywhere. That's essentially the challenge we face when it comes to cleaning up space debris. The task is monumental, but not impossible. In fact, scientists and engineers are developing innovative technologies to tackle this problem. Lasers, magnets and nets, yes, nets, are all being considered to capture and remove these orbiting hazards. Let's start with lasers. Some propose using ground-based lasers to slow down the debris, causing them to descend and burn up in the Earth's atmosphere. It sounds simple, but the logistics are complex. The debris is moving at incredible speeds and the lasers must be incredibly precise to avoid causing more harm than good. Then there's the idea of using magnets. This involves launching a spacecraft equipped with a magnetic field. The spacecraft would then attract and collect metallic debris. But again, the challenge lies in the details. How to attract the debris without accidentally pulling in operational satellites. And finally, the nets. Picture a spacecraft launching a net to capture a piece of debris. Once caught, the net and its captive would be navigated to burn up in the atmosphere or be pushed towards a graveyard orbit. It's a more hands-on approach, but there are concerns about the net missing its target or snagging more than one piece of debris. The truth is, there's no one-size-fits-all solution. Each method has its own set of challenges. But the fact that we're actively exploring these options is a testament to human ingenuity and our commitment to preserving the cosmos for future generations. Cleaning up space isn't a choice anymore, it's a necessity. With all these debris flying around, what does the future hold for space exploration? Indeed, a question that has been echoing in the minds of scientists and space enthusiasts alike. If left unchecked, space debris could create a shell around Earth a phenomenon known as the Kessler Syndrome. This could render space travel and satellite launches almost impossible, cutting us off from the cosmos and the benefits that space technology brings to our everyday lives. But it's not all doom and gloom. The growing awareness of the space debris problem has sparked new ideas and solutions. The future of space exploration lies in sustainable practices. This means designing spacecraft and missions with their end of life in mind, ensuring that they don't contribute to the debris problem. For example, satellites could be equipped with technology to deorbit them at the end of their operational lives, burning up in the Earth's atmosphere rather than becoming another piece of cosmic junk. New practices could also include the use of more sustainable fuels, reducing the amount of debris created during launch. International space agencies are not sitting idle. NASA, the European Space Agency, and others are developing technologies and strategies for tracking, mitigating, and even removing space debris. They are also working on establishing international guidelines and regulations to manage space traffic and prevent future debris creation. The future of space exploration is a shared responsibility. It's not just up to the engineers, scientists and astronauts. Policymakers, international organizations and even we, the public, have a role to play. By supporting sustainable space practices and policies, we can help ensure that our exploration of the cosmos continues for generations to come. 
In the end, the future of space exploration is intertwined with the fate of space debris. If we want to keep exploring, keep innovating and keep reaping the benefits of space technology, we must also keep our cosmic backyard clean. After all, the future of space exploration depends on our ability to keep our cosmic backyard clean.